You know, I um, I think I suffer from cases of insomnia. There are occasions where I go to sleep and I'm awake at about five in the morning and my eyes just open and I can't see. Because all I can see is darkness. But I know that I'm awake. And as I'm lying there, I tend to see a lot of things literally about the place. A lot of thoughts in my head. And sometimes one of the only ways to get these kind of thoughts out when nobody really wants to hear it when you're, you know, at home or at a party or in the pub or at college or whatever, is to do it on YouTube and to broadcast your opinion to people all across the world because I find that YouTube is just fantastic for that, even though the company is um, kicking itself in the balls lately by restricting what we can and can't say and for us degenerating our rights, it's still a fantastic place to uh, voice our opinions. So here is something that's really been getting to my, um, getting on my nerves lately, and it's one of the things I see a lot when I'm awake in the fucking daytime. I'm going to a uh, gig tomorrow called T4 on the Beach in Western Supermap in England. Um, yeah, yeah, why is somebody from Metallica post they're going to see bands like Saturdays and um, End Ups? Well, Dizzy Rascal's playing there, so that's enough for me. He's awesome. He's the best. End of. Um, but, that ain't the reason why I'm doing this video. The reason why I'm doing this video is because, um, we've got a six hour trip, roughly. Six hours? Four hour trip to T4. Uh, we've got to drive from roughly uh, London area down there, and then drive back in the same way. So we're actually going to be quite bloody tired. So what we were going to do was, we were going to, um, that's very powerful, the wasp has been caught in a spider's web, um, although the wasp has just fallen out of the spider's web. So what we were going to do was, we were going to, um, uh, eat our food, um, when we got to the table. However, due to the fact that, uh, these places are so capitalistically greedy, we aren't allowed to bring our own food into this place. We have to buy, buy their overpriced food, and also we aren't allowed to bring more than 500 millilitres of water with us. In the middle of the summer, in July, at a beach, and we have to buy their ripped off overprices, and it's just fucking stupid, and dumb, and it's greedy, and it's against human rights. I am... I think it's so wrong and so unjustifiable that companies think they can do this. I think it is a fucking disgrace and a fucking jab at our rights as humans. Did anybody not learn from Woods... I was about to say Woodfest, another festival, Woodstock in 1999, when there was a heat wave and they pretty much refused to let people bring their own supplies in and made them buy their own you know, made them buy the ripped off over prices. Did they not learn as to what happened? Do they not remember how everybody rioted? Do they not remember the amount of shit that was caused because of that? They haven't had a word stock since. That was ten years ago. What I'm saying is I hate it when I do this. Another occasion, um, we went to see a band a few uh, weeks ago called Suicide Tendencies. Amazing performance, obviously. Fantastic. Uh, excuse me. But my buddy and I uh, bought some alcohol, a bottle of Jack Daniels, a smaller bottle on this, but not all the same. And the motherfucker started rooting through my mate's bag. They drag out the Jack Daniels and they're like, cuss like a tenner, and they hadn't been used. And they're like, we're either going to bin this or you're going to go outside and you're going to drink it. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? We were going to buy the alcohol inside anyway. It's just so dumb. And, um, you know, um, a bit of a controversial statement, because it's a multicultural society that we live in, the people that were searching us, w they weren't, um, black security guards, they were, um, uh, Middle Eastern security guards, and they were like, there was like a woman that I was convinced that she was a lesbian, and a feminist, and sh she had this whole like, yeah, I'm, um, I now hold the power, you know, you do as I fucking say, kind of thing, and I'm at no means, by no means am I racist, I am 100% anti-groups like UKIP and the BNP and, you know, fascist organisations, but I just really hate that when they turn race against race, and it's just so 
fucking horrible and it just adds to the amount of ignorance because they are just working for a soulless corporation that is convinced to get all the money that they can what the fuck was it with humans? they always were about control weren't they? Ugh! to cut a long story short we are going to be ripped off horribly by the western supermare staff tomorrow because they won't let us bring our own fucking supplies into the damn place you know I think fuck them all I mean, come on. So what happens to the people who can't necessarily afford the £5 Coke bottles or the £10 burger? What happens to them? Well, I'll tell you what happens to them. They get ripped off more than I do. And I'm in a fortunate situation as to where I can get out of this little nuisance. But most people can't. Fucking disgrace. They should not be allowed to do this, is what I'm saying. I see it when I go to the cinema. We can't bring our own drinks in there. We have to buy their rip off prices. It's a fucking travesty. It should not be allowed. It is an act against human rights, against fundamental human rights, which we have. And it's justified because it's the government or it's a private corporation that have lots of money and lots of guards. Fuck them all. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. I'm a little bit pissed off. Thank you for watching. And peace.